Jack Nation. It's your boy Buckets, the Axum Insider. Gonna talk to Coach Keller, the birthday boy today on the Axum Insider. First, me and my man Trell gonna put up a couple three-point jumpers. Jack fans, it's your boy Buckets, the Axum Insider, alongside Coach Kyle Keller of Men's Basketball. Coach, you guys just got back from a road trip out to Utah. Uh, a win against Utah Tech, went down to Southern Utah, took a loss there. Now you're back here in Nacogdoches getting ready for a big week, Battle of the Piney Woods, the basketball version. Let's talk about that road trip first. The first game against Utah Tech, I'm going to be honest with you, Coach, watching it from, from back here in NAC. It looked like you guys were able to get what you wanted when you wanted offensively in that game. Yeah, we we uh, we played how we practiced. It was exciting to watch. Uh, the ball really moved. We executed like we practiced, you know, a couple of days, three days. And, and uh, as a coach, that's what you want to see. And, and so I was excited for performance there. I thought we we really took care of business. And then 36 hours later. Death came upon us, and the basketball god said that goal is going to become really small. And, and uh, you know, the last ten or twelve minutes, we couldn't get, we couldn't buy one. So yeah, so we ended up on the wrong side. Let's talk about that game for a minute. I know offensively, a poor shooting game, and let's be real. Over the course of a thirty-plus game season, you're going to have those nights. But yeah. on the defensive end. I mean, you hold those guys to over 20 points under their season score and average, forced 20 turnovers in that game. On the defensive end, it was still press you. I mean, like you said, we just didn't get shots to fall on that. I one. love the way you're spinning this uh, because wins and losses, all that matters, as you know, That's right? right. Uh, but I think, you know, we held them their lowest point total at home all year long, 24 points underneath their average. Um, and it, like we talked about off camera, you know, they had 30, it was 31, 29 and a half. I think we all felt good. And, you know, they scored, what, 33, 34 points in the second half and 65 for the game. If you'd have told me that we're going to hold them to 65 points, I'm going to tell you it's a happy flight at midnight when we flew home. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get our average either. Yeah. And, you know, we couldn't get it to go in and we turned it over. The last 10 or 12 minutes, we were abysmal. And they went on a 20 to 8 run that really, between the 12 minute mark and the six minute mark. And that was the ball game. And we were up 45-39 with 13 minutes to go. I thought the game's going exactly the way we wanted it. And we just, we just, we just turned it over six times and during that stretch and, and that was the ball game. So you guys are back in NAC. We're, uh, you guys are getting ready to practice today. Big game coming up this week against Sam Houston, the Battle of the Piney Woods. That's that's who we got this week. Oh, man. Now, I, they started the season pretty hot. I mean, they were a, a very talked about team, you know, got a big win against Oklahoma, a lot of good stuff. Since WAC play has started, I'd say the two teams have kind of been on opposite spectrums, us versus them. Do you just throw all of that stuff out the window when it comes to a game like this and rivalry games? Well, I think they've had a really difficult schedule. They, you, we talked about this as well. The WAC's a great basketball league. Yeah, absolutely. And they've been on the road, and they've had some tough contests. So, I mean, they've, I give them credit. They've had, probably had the best non-conference of, of really any team in our league, obviously, winning at OU, winning at, at Utah, and taking care of business. And so – uh, then they then they get to league play and they lose at Utah Valley and and, and had some tough contests and and so you know and they lost to Southern Utah like we did so they they it's Southern Utah is a hard place to play and so I mean anytime you play in this rivalry game the Battle of Piney Woods everybody knows that you know records don't matter That's I right. mean it's just get after it and I think the first one to 55 on on Thursday believe it or not is probably going to win the game that's kind of how it's gone and. Coach Hooten does a great job over there, and it's a lot, of, a lot of fun to play in these games. And um, you know, it's just, it's just been good. I mean, brings I think brings out the best in both teams. And you know, I love Coach Hooten. We have a really good friendship. Probably don't want to say it on on camera, uh, but he and I are really good friends. I hate that they're leaving our league because um, you don't know if you're gonna get to play him anymore. Yep. And we'd like to be able to play him, but. Our league's doing something with their new league, and don't know if it's gonna the games will count. So, uh, but I think it means a lot to both universities, and hopefully we'll continue to be able to play. Lumberjacks have had quite a bit of success up the road visiting Sam Houston in the past. Coach, before we end this interview, I was told through the grapevine that we're celebrating a birthday today, and so me and the guys have put something together. We got a little something for you. Oh man. Happy birthday to you. 
We'll catch you guys next time on the Axum Insider. That's awesome. Thanks, guys.